Hello and welcome fellow Spartans to this custom battle on Total War Attila and today I'm going to be doing a siege of Tessaphon, the capital city of the great Sassanid Empire. Of course this is quite apt because I'm doing a Sassanid Empire campaign which I'm sure you're already aware of and so yes I thought I'd do another custom battle today at this city, another one of these unique cities on the game. I did one very similar to this if you're I'm sure you've already seen it, the Siege of Roma. So I'm going to do one on the city of Tessaphon today. I'm going to be playing, of course, as the Eastern Roman Empire. I've got my army ready to go, my large onigers, my units of Palatina, some Axumum, some units of cavalry, along with uh, some skirmishes as well. So this should be uh, quite a formidable force to attack the city with. And of course, then we've got the Sassanid Empire defending the city. Now, I'm going to put it as escalation level 2 on this one. On the Siege of Rome, I didn't have any escalation level on at all. But I thought on this one, I put it to the other extreme, where you've got this, the highest escalation level you can get on the game. And we'll see what that looks like on the city and what effect that has only on not only on the battle map, strategically, but visually how it looks on the city as well. So it'll be quite interesting. So let's start the battle now, and I'll be back on the actual battle map with you guys. So I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, welcome to the city of Kesiphon. And you can see already, look at the absolute devastation that has been caused to this city even before we've attacked it. With this being the highest siege escalation level that you can get, this city has been razed to the ground. This once great city has been completely destroyed. Look at it, it's in it's in ruin. It's in absolute ruin. And there is at certain points throughout the walls here, I can, I can see where it is. There's already gaps in the wall. Where are they? I know they are somewhere. There they are. So already there's gaps in the great wall of this city. So it's going to make our lives a lot easier. So it just shows then, guys, maybe a couple of more turns on the campaign map of, es of, sorry, of sieging a city could make that difference between a defeat and a victory for you. Because look at this. It's going to make our lives on this battle today so much easier with it being at the highest le level of escalation you can get. Obviously, when I did the Battle of Rome, as I said to you, it was on no escalation level at all. A lot harder, or a lot easier for me to defend the city with. But this is going to be a lot easier for me to attack the city today with, because this is just complete, as I say, utter devastation that's being caused. So, you know, as I say, I do implore you guys, maybe on the campaign map when you're playing your campaign, to think, hang on a second, I'll wait just a couple more turns before I attack maybe a city of this magnitude. Maybe not the smaller cities because they're not as heavily defended, but this one, for example, it may be just worth your while just to defend it, sorry, just to siege it a little bit more before you do go in for the attack because, wow, this is, uh, this is impressive stuff. Anyway, let's see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. We've got our catapults or onigas lined up, so they're going to batter through these walls here to try and make the job of our infantry getting into the city a lot easier. I don't need to go in with our siege equipment. I can drop them because the onigas will do enough without us having to use them. So we'll pull them over here. Put them into group one. Oh, hang on. There's, there's units with the old battery ram still attached. Okay, there they go. They're ready now. These Palatinas, they will go in just behind. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'll put them in the back there. Wonderful. That's fine. And we'll put the crossbowmen there just to to provide some support in, in, if needs be. So we'll start the battle. Look at that, the great palace of the city here. That's still intact. That's probably the only few buildings that's left intact, actually. And that's the main victory point here. Catch that town square or that city square there. Then we've got the uh, the battle won, basically. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put the catapults on to flammable rounds. Destroy these walls. Look at them, 99% damage already. So this is going to be one shot and they're already dead. It's all over these walls in a second. They will crumble. And of course I've got Sandstorm on as a weather condition. So to make it a little bit more epic than it would have been. If it was just a normal standard warm day, this is going to be even more epic. And look at that, the barrage of the walls has been destroyed. Look at that. This is phenomenal. Let's sit, let's, sorry, let's set the city can we do that? No, we're just out of range, unfortunately. We'll have to try and get them 
with these shots over here to try and hit the city there because we're going to try and set it ablaze but I think I'm just out of range unfortunately. But yeah, I thought the sandstorm would make it feel a little bit more epic than usual. So here we go guys, another barrage is coming through, here we go. Oh, what great shots on those units of spearmen. Oh, and they've got elephants as well, this is going to be tricky. Trickier than we thought, they've got a unit of elephants here. Are their onigas being destroyed? Looks like they have, wow. They didn't last very long, did they? Okay. Right, what we'll do is destroy this tower because we're going to start using, moving our units forward now. We want to take that tower out before we do so. Love the noise effect. They go, Woof. Oh, there goes that tower. Let's make another dent in this one. Destroy this one now. Come on, guys. Come on, destroy this tower. Come on, come on, come on. Fire, 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 fire. Now, 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 now. Go, 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 go. Right, here we go. Destroy the tower. Well, there goes a the wall, and some of the units have gone as well, and there goes a the fort tower. Destroy this one as well, just to make sure that one's destroyed, because it's already set one of my onigas on fire, which is not great. Oh my god. Destroy that tower right now, please, chaps. Move the axeman forward now. With the Palatine just behind. Come on, get that tower destroyed now. Come on, guys. We can't be messing around for much longer. Get it destroyed now. Come on. That's it. A couple of shots will do it. We oh, just missed it with that one. Oh, there it goes. Boom. Destroyed. Wonderful. Oh, just caught my microphone there. Sorry, guys. Right then, here we go. We're moving in now. So the Axemen will start with their first wave of attacks. Got a lovely opening to go through now. The combination of the escalation and the Onigas doing their work there beautifully. So yeah, if you've got a, a battle where you're sieging a city, not only with having Caesar's escalation already done its work and the fact you then got siege equipment to go with it as well, it's game over for the enemy. The defenders can't cope, surely. Now we've set the city on fire, I think. We nearly did, I think. Even though it's on, it's been on fire for quite a number of months, at least anyway. <laughs> by those things, why not say a blaze a little bit more, eh, guys? Honigers, go for those units over there now, please. Okay, move in, move in, move in. Storm the walls, gents. Come on. Oh, we're throwing some axes, are they? Yeah, they're like throwing some axes against the enemy there. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Oh, nice axe animations there as well. Boom, keep that's it. Smack away at them, beautiful. Break the shields down with your axes. Oh god, go in against those bloody elephants, don't get them, don't let them run riot. Stone the walls, that's it gentlemen. Right, so they're making their, their impact known. The cannibals are still firing. Awesome, so we can now take our cavalry in as well. So we'll do that, move them in quicker now. Storm the gates there please. Crossbowmen try and take those crossbowmen out on the walls there. These have wavered, or well, they're wavering, so keep pushing on against them. They're completely routes. Come on, they're gone. Push in, push in, push in. I try and use these spearmen in a second to try and react to the elephants, but the wa elephants are already waving actually, so we don't, may not need to use them in fact. But we'll bring them in just in case, just to finish the job. But these axemen are doing a superb job against the uh, 
the Sassanid units at the moment. Oh, look at this. Push them against that wall. Come on. Get them down. Get those two left elephants, the last elephants down. Come on. Break them down. We're moving into the city now through the gates with our cavalry units. They're engaging with their cavalry units. Get those bloody elephants down, come on. Now we're charging the back with our axemen. This will be devastating in a second. Chase those cover units down, come on. They won't be able to hold for much longer. This is absolute devastation I'm causing now. I'm just swarming the city. They are dropping very, very quickly now. I don't think they've got much left in the tank. They're going wonderful. Look at them, they're running running for their lives now. There's nothing they can do. It's all over. Oh, there's a unit of what? Oh god, Onigi. The Onigus unit are here though. That's the thing they're left. Or well, the the uh, the men who manned the Onigi unit should say, because the Onigas have been completely destroyed. These axemen are gonna go for this general unit that's defending the palace here. So We'll bring them across that way. Take down that barricade, come on. There goes another tower. Good news indeed. Take that one down as well. Take that down that Bastion Onager, please. Break down these barricades now, come on. Get to that general up on the hill there. Let's take the palace for the Eastern Roman Empire. Come on. Sap away at that gate. Sorry, that barricade. Come on. That's it. Now you've got it. Go, 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 go. With these guys. Persian nobles. So these are going to be very heavy cavalry to deal with. Only tier one, though, surprisingly. I thought it'd be higher than that. Oh, another unit of it. Oh, another unit of bloody elephant. And I don't believe it. Pour into the enemy there, pour on them. Give them nothing, give them no room to manoeuvre. No you keep telling me that advice, that's what I want to know. You keep saying that to me. Okay, here we go. Let's ride with them here, let's, let's go with them on this one. I don't want to go with that unit, I want to go with the front unit actually. Here we go. The enemy's walls crumble before our might. Beautiful, beautiful. That's it. Take that general down, come on. Hack away at those horses and Nothing against horses, that is, but you've got to hack away at them. Get them down on the ground. These elephants are starting to drop as well, ever so slightly now. Once they hear the news that the general's gone, then they should surely retreat then. And these already, the cavalry of the general units pulling back. They know they can't hold where they were before. They're pulling back a bit further to the city palace. The oh, we'll put a headhunt on these guys now. This will completely finish them off and we'll rapid advance them as well. Come on. We have destroyed their defenses. Come on, don't let the enemy get away. Come on, come on, come on. Bloody hell, they're going to get away in a second, I think. We'll be fatigued if we're not careful. I don't think we've caught them up. We've caught them up, so we shall initiate headhunt now. And now we've got him. This is it. Now we should be able to take him down pretty quickly now with headhunt being enabled. 
or unbreakable in this case. Right, okay. Same thing, I'm sure. Oh, that's it. That is it. Mass panic will start to ensue now across the city. Word will get around. Look at that. That's it. Completely broken. Everyone's routed. There's a unit that's left over here, though. These immortal cavalry, but they should go in a second. The great city of Kessaphon is now under the Eastern Roman Empire's rule. The demise of the Saturnian Empire is complete. We should have to rebuild. I mean, can you imagine taking this on the campaign map and having to rebuild and repair all this broken land? It would be pretty costly to you. This is what I mean, you see, as well. Okay, it's great to do this, all this siege escalation, cause all this damage, but you've got to balance it with the fact they're going to cost you an absolute bomb to repair it all afterwards. And time as well. Go on, Calvary, chase him down now. Chase him down. Come on, don't let them get us get away. Come on. This is all that stands between us and a victory now. Well, put on the fast forward, else we'll be here to the end of time, basically. If we don't... I'm not my microphone again. I keep knocking my microphone tonight. Oh, they're gone this way, are they? Well, we're going to get them cornered off in a minute. Oh, come on, guys. Right, get your axes fine across, Adam. Oh, come on, box them off. That's it. That's it. They can't go anywhere now. We've got them cornered. Beautiful. That's it. Game over. Victory is complete. I'm sure of it. Come on, there's no one left, is there? Who's left now to fight? The city is under our control. Right, okay. This battle lingers on. Let's bring these units of fresh cavalry in to try and see where the enemy is left. But I can't seem to find anyone, so surely that should be it. They're playing with me now, the AI. They're playing with me. 40 men left somewhere. Where that is, I do not know. An entire unit has perished. Right, okay, okay. Pull these guys back from the outer walls. We don't want to incur any, any more tower fire if we can avoid it. But where are they? be some small contingent of numbers of something, something inadequate that won't make any difference to the battle. But they're hiding away into some corner of this battle map, this city. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't incur too much damage if you can avoid it. Our general is being attacked! Keep all right, all right. I will do, but I just need to find out where this enemy is. Oh, it's here. These guys. These little natty throwers. Well, they naff throwers. Good God. This is all that's between us and victory now. Finish these guys off. Come on. Got only two of them have died. What the hell? Who are these people? Pull these, the general unit out. Oh, that's going down now. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Praise the gods. Decisive victory. End the battle there. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Siege of Kessaphon. I hope you've enjoyed this little siege battle today. This is... Very similar to the one I did a couple of days ago when I did the Siege of Roma. So I thought I'd do this one today on this great city. or Another one of the unique battle maps on Attila. If you enjoyed the video, please do drop the video a like. It means a lot as always. And yeah, that was pretty epic indeed. I'm loving these Siege Battles on Attila. They are very, very intense. 
And especially when you've got siege escalation like that, it makes it look and feel so much more apocalyptic and epic. So yes, I rather rather did enjoy that one. So if you did as well, uh, you know what to do. So thank you very much, guys. And I shall be back very soon with some more Tiller content. But until then, this is Warrior Spotter for now saying farewell. <laughs>